this is Antonio with Team Tigiona coming at you with another exciting video. In this video, we want to talk about all of the tools that you would need if you are running a social media marketing agency, digital agency, or you're considering to run an agency in the future. If a lot of people that haven't seen none of my videos, my name is Antonio. I'm the project manager of Team Tigio. And we are a marketing studio that conduct, uh, that posts advertisements and edit videos on behalf of our clients. So we have some insight of what we do every day when we are taking care of clients every day in our marketing studio. We also provide branding, so some of the information and some of the tools and softwares I will be discussing will cover some of those as well. So without further ado, let's dive in and talk about the softwares that we would need. I hear a lot of people say when you start a, a marketing agency that you basically can start a marketing agency with little to no money. And that is true because a lot of these softwares start with an introductory, um, uh, where you know you can start them for a certain amount of days for free, but after that, if you want to increase those services or have a, a you know maximize the you know the services for the clients then you probably will have to get some paid clients rather quickly so let's talk about one of the first softwares that we use uh, in our office and that software goes by the name of buffer now buffer is a software that we use even though we know they have hoop suites and they have later and they have a, a number of other different type of uh, uh, scheduling software. But in our office, we use Buffer. It's compatible, it's affordable for what we do for our clients. Basically, Buffer, you can, you can schedule up to 25 clients or have 25 social media um, profiles attached to the, to the you know, to the, uh, to the price package that we use. So we really strongly recommend that you use one of those softwares. It don't have to be Buffer, it can be later, it can be Hootsuite, but Buffer is the software that we use. We schedule that software, we design the advertisements, we create the descriptions, the titles, and we schedule the tools. So let's get it down to descriptions. If you're doing any type of website design, or if you're doing any kind of uh, sending emails or any of those things, you're going to need another software that goes by the name of Writing Pro Aid because you don't want to send out emails that you don't proofread, that you, you know, that, that is just grammatically awful. So we use Writing Pro Aid, but you still have Grammarly that you can use. Both of those writing platforms, they have a free version that you can use. You can put it in the Chrome extensions and both softwares, when you're writing your emails or if you're writing um, a book or if you're writing any type of your description for a client, the good thing about those softwares is they're going to tell you if your writing is good or bad. If you have a lot of orange uh, underlines in writing parade, then they're telling you that you are not using, you know, good soft, uh, good good writing skills or if it's in red then it's definitely a bad sign so writing pro rate is definitely a software that I recommend that you and your team download because it's very necessary uh, let's talk about if you are designing websites for clients and you know when you design a website that every client don't have the same needs and wants so we recommend WordPress now there are other content management systems like Squarespace, Wix, uh, Shopify, but those cloud type web, uh, platforms don't really offer uh, the magnitude that WordPress offer because with WordPress, all you have to do is have a hosting account, a domain name, you can use WooCommerce and you can definitely use that you know use that platform to your hot content those other platforms if you use if you're selling if, uh selling on those platforms then they're definitely going to charge you uh 
perk, if you sell a, a certain amount of projects, uh, products on Shopify, they're gonna charge you more. But WordPress, all you gotta do is have a big enough um, a database, cPanel, and you're good to go. So another tool you would need to back it up when you're discussing about websites if you're gonna need a hosting pad. And we recommend HostGator. HostGator, we have been dealing with HostGator for the past eight years as a as a company. Their customer service is, is, is perfect. They have never failed me so far. If I call with an issue, they'll tell me what the issue is. So I definitely never have had a problem with, uh, with HostGator. I know they do have GoDaddy, they have Bluehost. So you don't have to be subjective just to use HostGator but for us, we have found them to be a very reliable source, and we have been paying them for the last eight years to host our, uh, our platforms and the clients that host through us. So we definitely recommend HostGator. All right, to go back into the websites, uh, you're gonna need themes if you're designing for uh, clients. And we recommend that you use Elementor, the Elementor Builder. Now, there are definitely other type builders. They have Beaver Builder, Muffin Group. They have, uh, there's a whole lot of different builders. Well, we recommend either you go through Elementor and you download one of those templates because with Elementor for one site is $49. If you get a good deal, you can download a, a number of different um, templates through or use that uh, builder on 100 different sites for a certain amount of money per year. I believe it's like uh, two, three hundred dollars a year. And if you know anything about building websites, you know that each theme, if you're going through Envato, uh, one of them, you're going to be spending anywhere from $49 to $79. So keep that in mind when you thinking about building a website for a client, make sure that you're putting those type pricing into your uh, price plan so you will never lose money on the back end of those projects. Uh, you can download a free template called Astra. With Astra, you can use the Elemental Builder. And yes, they, it is a paid part of Astra, but they have a, other, a number of different templates that you can use for free, as long as you're using the Elemental Builder. So you, you definitely maximize in both of those. So we definitely recommend um, both of those softwares. Another one that you would need possibly if you're running a miniman uh, operation, is Asana. Asana is like me. I'm a project manager here at Team Tigio, so I have to assign a, a number of different uh, projects. So it's good if you use a platform called Asana. You can schedule out those, uh, schedule out all of everything that needs to be accomplished on the back end for the clients. The, your team can see the different things and the different tasks that they need to be completed. Once it's completed, it's good to go. And then you can keep everybody abreast using the sauna. Uh, another platform you would need, if you're if you are editing videos for clients, you automatically know it's difficult to share different type files through email because email has a, a limited uh a limited amount of gigs or megabytes that you can share via email. So you may need Dropbox. I know they have G Suites, but in our studio we use Dropbox. It's a very lucrative uh, tool that we use. It works greatly. Uh, for me, I'm using what, three t uh, terabytes, which is a lot of space. And that's enough space that you and your team can share back and forth video, large pictures, you can share those. All you need to do is just download a link and you can uh, share that with a, a client, friend, or whoever. And with the drag and drop easy platform, it's very easy using Dropbox. You All you have to do is put all your files in different folders and you're good to go. So Dropbox, uh, we have been using that platform for the last seven years in our office and it, it alleviates space from your computer where you're not having all of this information downloaded on your computer, it's in the cloud. Uh, for us, we have never had one of our files uh, hacked, so it's very secure even though it's in the clouds, and I very, very recommend Dropbox as a, as a tool for your you and your team. Now, if you're doing any kind of 
YouTube marketing for your client, you're going to need a number of different softwares possibly for your client. Number one, you're going to need a place where you can download fonts. So we recommend DuffFont.com. Uh, that's definitely a tool. But when you use it, when you're going on DuffFont.com, please pay attention because sometimes they're telling you that this font is free for usage and as need. And then there's some people say you can use it for personal use. So if you design a different type of logos or anything for a client, make sure that you're not going to get that client sued in the long run because they're using a logo that was never intended to be for uh, personal use or for business use. So you just, just read the terms and conditions before you download that font. Next, if you're downloading thumbnails for, uh, if you're not downloading, wrong word, if you design designing thumbnails for a client, you're possibly gonna need Canva. Some people use Canva to design thumbnails. Those thumbnails come out perfect, they come out beautiful. And some people are making a lot of money using Canva. In our office, we use Canva slightly, but we download, I mean, we design a lot of thumbnails from scratch and we use Adobe Photoshop. So you definitely may need some kind of Photoshop uh, uh, software on, on your computers so you can stay abreast and design great looking thumbnails for the client. Also, you would need uh, providing the SEO for a YouTuber, you would need a software called vidIQ or you can use TubeBuddy. But if, in our office, we use vidIQ. vidIQ for some is $40 a month. I believe we're paying like $40 or $50 a month. And that's that software solely helps us where we can provide SEO on the client and we can try to maximize the views because everybody is only one click away from going viral and some people can go viral with the type of material and it may, you know, uh, YouTube may uh, be generous and push your video heavily. But sometimes you're gonna need a little push and you may need vidIQ to be that push. If you're designing um, business cards, letterheads, or any of those type of tools, you may need some kind of icons. So we recommend Flatacon, some icons on Flatacons are free. Sometimes you may have to pay, but you may need one, you know, that type of software. I mean, not just, yeah, you may need to, a place to download your uh, icons where you're not ripping people off, you're not stealing from people. And Flatacons is a place where you can download PNGs, take it in Photoshop, you can change colors, and you can definitely do a, you know, do a lot with that platform. Next, uh, we recommend uh, software if you design an advertisement for clients they don't have the means to provide certain um, uh, videos but you need to do some kind of uh, video advertisements you can use Vidnami now Vidnami is formally content samurai uh, it's not very very expensive I believe like we're paying $35 a month for that uh, software it's a good software to have um, and basically, you can take an article, and taking that article, you can upload it inside of uh, this words, this text, inside of Vietnami. And Vietnami, because they have such a big library of video and pictures, uh, they're going to compile everything together. And then once they compile everything together, you can design uh, videos for clients. You can design advertising for clients. So Vietnami, we strongly, strongly recommend that platform. We're going to put a link in the description if you're interested in, interested in using that platform for your clients because that software is very, very uh, needed if you're doing some kind of uh, softwares for your client. Uh, another, so, uh, another tool that you may need, and that's Moz.com. Now, Moz.com is for SEO purposes. The word SEO means search engine optimization. So if you're doing any type of search engine optimization on behalf of the client, you may need Moz.com. It's a the interface is pretty cool. It's not very expensive, but you're gonna need some kind of tool that will work on the behalf of the client. So in this video, basically we're just talking about all of the tools that that we have to compile and put together 
to work on the behalf of the clients because if you're not servicing your clients properly, you're going to see it in the reviews. You're going to see it in the displeasure. They're going to move on to somebody else. So definitely, definitely just pay attention to this video. Think about some of the other softwares. We didn't list all of the software that we possibly use, but we definitely want to just talk about some of the softwares that possibly will help your, uh, help your business grow. And once again, this is Antonio with Team Tigio. If you have any questions, comments, please uh, put them in the descri description, but I mean, put them in the below and I will definitely read them. I definitely will respond. And once again, this is Antonio with Team Tigio and I will see you next time.